United Way of the Lewis and Clark area has raised over $600,000 towards acquiring the Helena Inn, but they're in need of millions more in order to buy it by the end of the year. So when we go out and ask for funds from people, that's what we're hearing is we don't know how to fund this because it's new. And so we're running into a lot of walls and not getting the funding that we're asking for. So we're really kind of back to square one and really back to asking the community for help. United Way is working to purchase the Helena Inn as part of their Housing First Capital Campaign. They would turn it into a 48-unit permanent supportive housing apartment building. Tenants would be required to pay rent or go through housing assistance, but not by more than 30% of their income. The space would support men, women, children, and families with the support of Helena Housing Authority and Rocky Mountain Development Council. Wraparound services such as mental health and chemical dependency would be offered for residents too. The original closing date was the end of June, but has since been moved to the end of the year. The organization must come up with just under $4 million by then to acquire the property. The total cost for property, renovations, and programming is $5 million. You know, what we've calculated is if everybody in the city of Helena gave $150, that would get us over $4 million. We'd have it. So far, United Way has raised a little over $615,000 for the Helena Inn. In addition to reaching out about grants and foundation funds, the group is hosting the 2024 United Way Fun Fest in October to help garner funds. The three-day event will include balloon sculptures, a carnival, a fun run, food, and more. Emily McVeigh, executive director of United Way of the Lewis and Clark area, says this property is about getting folks in need stable housing first to then provide a base to work on any other issues. And so if we can start doing that, get people into some stability, then we can start moving downstream and, and working on the other issues. So we've got to start somewhere. <laughs> and so if we can start getting people stabilized and moving into that transitional and permanent peace, then we can start making some progress. Reporting in Helena, Tom Buchanan, MTN News.